What's up, boys? Call Sign Grimey here. Welcome to another DCS video. And today we're going to take a look at Digital Crew Chief. It's a recently released dynamic campaign generator for DCS. And it's in the vein of a DCS liberation, although it is not nearly as developed. I'm going to show you what it looks like, how to uh, run it, what you can expect. We'll do a brief mission and then I'll show you how to finish it all off by, you know, bringing that back into DCC for it to read the results of that mission and then progress the dynamic campaign as needed. Once you load it all in, you get to pick a scenario. Right now, there's only one option because it's an early, early development. So the dynamic campaign is Red Bullet. They have coming soon, Road to Paris and Desert Thunder. So we'll enter into Red Waters here. We'll hit start campaign. Now at this point, we get to select our faction. We'll pick uh, 2004 USA modern aircraft and then we'll pick our adversaries as russia in 96 for them their most recent now you get to customize the campaign a little bit here um for those of you that are absolute maniacs and want to go hardcore aka one life there's that option good luck uh now we'll also click on allow night missions because why not there's a lot of amazing aircraft that have night capabilities take advantage of it we will go skill level ai adjust this one to your own needs here so you don't get overwhelmed but still have a challenge. Once we're done there, we'll hit next and then it auto generates the mission or the campaign rather. And so we can take a look at the map here. This is what it looks like. All right, so we'll come over here and you'll see to the left side that you have all of the mission types to fly at this stage of the dynamic war. In this case, it's day one. So for example, there's a pinpoint strike here. This is an escort mission. There's a cat mission, a pinpoint mission, a strike escort. It kind of rotates amongst those and it'll give you varying aircraft to fly each of those with. So depending on what aircraft you wanna fly, it'll lay out specific missions for that. And it does, it does change uh, every time you roll a day and continue with the dynamic war. Um, that being said, if you want to, you can also click on the mission type and it'll expand the information for that. It'll tell you the aircraft, the call sign and the armament. And then if you look at the map, it'll actually show you then the, uh, you know, the mission waypoints. So you have an idea of where you're going to be going, what you're going to be doing. So this mission actually looks pretty interesting because you're kind of going into a deep strike. I mean, you're, you're definitely crossing the enemy front lines way back into the back here. Um, and that does not look like a good time because, uh, there's probably gonna be a lot of anti-air and enemy forces. So, uh, this looks like a death wish. So yeah, let's go ahead and fly it. Uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot here. We will already picked join so now that we did that we'll hit take off once we're going to take off it is going to do its thing here to draft up that mission it doesn't take too long here boom it's done ready for takeoff now what we're going to do is on the bottom right corner hit generate mission once we've done that we're good do not close out of dcc just minimize it to your taskbar here we are in dcs we're going to go to mission you're going to go to my missions then Click the modify to bring the most recent uh, missions up to the top. And we'll, in this case, we'll see here DCC mission. This is the one we want. So we will go ahead and hit OK and we will load in. Oh, before I forget, this is kind of important here. And this should be done before you launch the game. Um, you're going to need to make a slight adjustment to one of the Lua files here. So you're going to go into your installation folder for DCS, go into the scripts folder and then look for the mission scripting Lua file. You'll open that up and the information that is here highlighted from the do unto the end is what you need to change within this section for what you have already. I'm gonna link below to the GitHub that has the exact coding that you need to put in there and it shows you very easily how to do this. You literally copy pasta right over the uh, information that's in there currently in that and you will have to do this every time there is an update to DCS, at least as of right now of the time of me making this video. And the reason why this is important is that this is what's gonna allow DCS to transfer back that information from the mission, whether it was a success um, or a failure and all the other information back to, to DCC so that it can process it and then move the dynamic campaign forward accordingly. All right, we're rolling up to the runway here. We've got our AI wingman in tow everything looks good we've got everything set up here with our uh, screens and all of that flaps are down we're ready to take off and begin this mission here we'll stop right there release the brake And we'll wait 
till we hit that 180 miles per hour here for the pullback. There we go. Pull back. Nice and easy. We're airborne. Flight. Cover me. So we're getting launched on. We've got uh, enemy air. We're gonna break off. Oh, oh, was he just shot at him? Oh, they're they're battling out down there. We might we might take a hit here. See if we can't get on. Yep, we took it. We took it. All right, that's fine because we want to demonstrate how this works here with the system. So we got shot down. Uh, we had Sam's fire on us. It was pretty intense here in the front lines. So we're here at the debrief, and you can see that there's a lot going on throughout all of this. I mean, with all the AI battling, it, it really is pretty impressive just how much action is happening all around the mission site and the, uh, the map itself. So uh, we got shot down, and what we're going to do next here is we're going to pull up DCC, and we're going to hit submit, submit mission state here in the bottom right corner. Uh, now that we've done that, we've got all the information here. The debrief shows that we lost these aircraft, lost ground units, lost buildings, uh, how many lost SAMs are all done. Uh, clearly it says I was killed in action, and my uh, crappy wingman is still alive. Damn him. All right, so now that we're back within DCC, you'll see what missions are already running that you can jump into. At this point, I can jump into this mission here with F-16. I could jump into another pinpoint strike mission or an escort mission, and you would just join and keep on playing through. You win some, you lose some, and you would just progress the days here. Um, you could speed up time here if you really wanted to. And, and this is kind of what happens here. You'll see um, what's happening with the missions and stuff. Um, you'll see the AI doing its thing. You can cl clearly see here that there's the deep mission running over here that may or may not be a, a success. And again, you can play this out and honestly stop and play at whatever point you feel you want to jump in if you want to do it that way as well that is how you utilize dcc and i i, I love the interface it's very intuitive very easy to um, navigate it's very clear it's not uh, cluttered it's it's uh just easy to, to use in its current state and i'm actually uh, excited to see you know how this thing develops um and you know the extent at which you can really go and just continue to have this ongoing you know, dynamic campaign um, that's going to serve a lot of the community that likes to do the, that kind of uh, gaming content that doesn't necessarily want to do multiplayer servers. They just want to fly like this ongoing war and jump in and, and, and pitch in at different points throughout it and for different types of missions. Gives you a lot of different variety for different aircraft. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So check out DCC down below in the description. You can get the uh, link to the user files where you can download it at. Get more info on it. Try it out for yourself. And if you do, let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, shout out to the dev team that's putting this together for the uh, benefit of the greater community. Because right now it costs zero dollars to get it. Um, and if it continues to remain free, it's going to be a wonderful app. So that is all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it and you want more content like this, so make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Call sign Grammy out.